Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at tie flows, physics, collisions. So as you can see, we have our base map here. And what we want to do is we want to start to create a geometry. So in this case, we'll use a cylinder. And we'll just create that to any size that you need. And we'll rotate that 90 degrees and become a horizontal piece. That's something we can connect to or wrap around in this example. Now that we've moved that up, we'll create our helix which will be the object that is colliding with that cylinder. And again, we'll rotate that 90 degrees and we'll just center it around this cylinder as well and just start to line it all up. And go to our top view as well. And just make sure that it's sort of wrapping around and somewhat centered, but this doesn't matter too much. And I don't particularly like that it's kind of close to the edges. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly modify it and just change the height of it so it's just a little bit shorter than the actual cylinder as you can see it's sort of located the cylinder is located in the center of the helix now we'll create our tie flow which is found in standard shapes and once that's been created we will open the editor now as we'll just quickly fix the screen so we can see what we're doing in both views and for this example, we'll use birth spline and we'll pick our spline, which will be the helix. And we have our dots. Instead of that, we'll create our own custom shape and we'll change it to a 3D geometry. And we'll just use Geosphere low res in this case. And we'll change our display mode to geometry. And you can see they're quite spaced out and quite small. So what we might do is just increase their size uh, you can change the frequency there, but we'll use changing the scale and we'll change the scale to 200%. Just make them a little bit bigger. And we also want some more around as well. So we'll just change the percentage. You want them close, but not too close, but also not too far apart. So it's just a bit of playing around, but something like that will work quite well for this. So we'll leave it at 1.5%. And now from there, we'll add in our physics models. So we'll use physics shape and we'll change the hull mode because as you can see now that the spheres are just falling straight through. So we'll change our hull mode. Uh, you could do mesh, but in this case, we're actually going to change it to, compact, uh, to convex, sorry. And then still, as you can see, it's still falling through. So we need our collision object. So we'll add in Phys X collision and just drag that in underneath the shape and we'll pick that which will be our cylinder and then use add selected. Now that it's been added in, we can use our physx bind and change the bind mode to rigid joint. And now you can see that it hits and connects to that. Now that's colliding, we can sort of start to create this as one solid piece of geometry. So we'll use the slow tool and just slow down the percentage in which it falls. And you can just muck around with the velocity um, as you see fit. So now we've done that, you can see it falls a bit slower and you can just play around with that as you like. Don't forget to save your file as this part can be quite beefy on your computer. So we'll add a spline paths in, create new, and we'll do physics bindings. You can see them, all the geometries will now start to connect and we can go enable in viewport as shown and now it'll start to give you a visual on how that works and as well if you just scroll down you want to make sure that it's weld bindings is ticked as well as that will just connect it all as into one solid piece and now if we press play oh, we'll turn off the geometry so we can get rid of the balls actually and you can see that it falls and collides with the with the cylinder so thank you for watching and i hope you found this tutorial helpful